It was built in the 1960s with what was a pioneering modern construction method called Wimpy, no fines concrete. It had the effect of building homes that had all the domestic comfort of a cave. The walls would be cold and therefore would cause damp and cause condensation and mould growth. It became the least popular housing in Hartford and as a result, over the years, increasingly stressed and desperate people would move here. People who had some better options would go elsewhere and it became associated with crime and antisocial behaviour, exacerbated by all of the wasteland around the individual buildings. It was a very difficult place for housing associations and before that for the council to let properties on this estate. It was poor quality housing in a poor state of repair and clearly we needed to do something about that and change the facilities that we provide for people to live in. If people are living in overcrowded, poor quality, damp housing, that will have an impact both on people's physical and mental health. Because the homes that were here previously had reached the end of their life, they weren't of the standard that we want for the future. They were in poor repair. We were spending quite a lot of money trying to keep them in a reasonable state for people to live in, but actually it was good money after bad and we needed to start again with a fresh development for really good standard homes. I was asked in 2013 to look at this set of old buildings. My job was to work out different opportunities, whether there was a refurbishment plan and what the residents wanted and whether it would be better to do a new build. We got in the firm of architects, we worked with them, we arranged workshops, we held events with displays, we had drop-in sessions, basing ourselves for several years in the little office on the old estate. People would come in and say, I don't like the way you've arranged that and the architect could change the layouts of the homes. And we talked to them too about other important questions, whether they have pitched roofs or flat roofs, how the buildings could fit in with the streets and how we could learn from their experience of what was wrong with the homes they were in already. What I like is that we're using materials that are brick, particularly brick with slate roofs. And I like that because it relates to people's dreams, people's aspirations for the perfect home. We didn't just reproduce the big blocks of flats that were here before. Although we've put back a similar number, so there's 120 new homes, a lot of those are houses, so nearly 40 are three bedroom or two bedroom houses with their own gardens. It's very clear that the impact that good quality housing has on individuals and families is really important. And the impact that that has on people's health and well-being, their ability to prosper is key. And I think that what Network Homes and East Hearts Council have done is develop a group of properties that people can be proud of to call home. We wanted to promote and encourage a healthy lifestyle. And so we got a grant from the council's Healthy Living Programme Fund and we're using it to provide every home with a planter for their balcony or their garden where they can grow vegetables or grow flowers. And we're providing every resident with a cookbook of healthy recipes, tips on events during the year which they can go to that relate to health and well-being, and tips on amenities, walks and facilities in the area where they can, can enjoy and exercise in the nearby countryside. The first time I came up there, I said, wow, this place has really changed. The whole place is fabulous, very nice. The cabinets, got enough space to put all my things in. I've got big rooms. I love being in kitchen, so the kitchen is big enough for me. And the garden thing is very lovely and nice to have your own plant. And the neighbors are good, everybody is lovely. It's a nice place and it's beautiful. I love it here, quiet and nice. We have somewhere to live, comfortable. We like the area, the schools, it's good. <laughs> Working with Network Homes was brilliant. They emailed me one day, and four days later I was viewing the property, and then a week later I've got my keys. I love the fact that the house is bright and sunny and it's quiet around here, and there's no major traffic. For me, this is a fresh start. It will enable me to be able to 
take the process of going back to work, having affordable rent. So that's, that's the big thing for me. It's everything for me. So yeah, I'm really excited and really, really, really happy.